Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Swords and Sandals 4. In the last episode, man, that Chaos card is... Well, it can be good, but it could also be very tricky. Um, we've also now got the Undead Great Beast. Oh, God, I really fear going against him. Uh, regardless, we are now level 70, which means we've unlocked the final new realm. The final realm in the game, the Shackled God Realm. Let's use Fatal's Gauntlet, at least for the moment, and see how th good things land. Alright. It's a bit reversed here. Pete kicks off with a 1 and rolls again. Not bad. Pete then rolls a 5. And is going to fight a random monster. Fair enough. That's good. A Pigman Mage. Yay. How much damage we can do it. Oh, he's down already 10. Oh, he's gained some health back. Not enough, though, Mr. Mage. That's money for Pete right there. Nice 50 gold. All right, the undead great beast. Look at the size of this guy. He's huge, but he did just get beat by a wandering monster. How that works? I don't know. Wave Sludge also loses to the wandering monster. <coughs> and Fossil Blast doesn't do very well at all. Alright. Barrel Fighter. Stop giving me this bloody game. I don't like Barrel Fighter. Stop it. I'd rather get like 20 gold on this. There you go. I didn't even get 20 gold there. Nah. Ah, well. Alright, so I am very worried about the Great Beast. Because he does seem like a bit of a, um, a bit of a tank. And the last time we went up against the tank, it was Gallantress, and he wrecked me for a long time until I finally got lucky and beat him. So, yeah, hope the Great Beast isn't going to be like that. Oh, they're battling. The Undead Great Beast is delayed. Okay. That's a three. That's a, a three for the worm. All right, two. Let's battle the Undead Great Beast. Oh, God. Please don't be bulky. He's not bulky. Oh, well, he's kind of bulky. But it's a bulk that I can deal with, possibly. First attack, lot of damage. Missed. Good. Second attack, lots of damage. He did hit me. Third attack, lots of damage. Okay, now he's getting some good damage in. Fourth attack, lots of damage. Yes, it's over. We have defeated the undead great beast. Yes, okay. Not as bulky as I thought he'd be. That's one thing that Pete just doesn't do well against, is bulky opponents. So that's, that's good. That's good, I'll take that. That's very nice. Alright. Out of the way, a six roll from Pete there. Oh, come on. Yes, we're over. And that's another. Another lovely bit of gold there for Pete. Wave Sludge moves forward. As does Fossil Blast the Worm. A two from Pete. Gives him more money. Very nice. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we're battling now. All right, I'll take five of your gold. Why not, Wave Sludge? Why do you have a dagger? You're level 70, mate. Why have you still got a dagger? See, now that's better damage. Not enough, but that's better damage. Five gold. Well, I'm sure Pete will be very gracious, grateful about that, as he will be from this eight gold he's about to get from beating Farsal Blast the Worm. Oh. Maybe I underestimated him? Nah. No, I didn't. That's devil's damage right there from lightning, of all things. You'd expect fire, but no. Come on, Pete. Thanks to that bleeding beast, I can't see. All right, I made the right choice. I'm battling another guy. A Squidman Bard this time. Rawr, indeed. That's 998 damage from the get-go, followed by another 333. Nice one, Pete. More money for Pete. Look at that. Five fights already for formerly Pete. Five fights. Wave Sludge is going the wrong way. That's good. Fossil Blast is, has lost all his money now. Fair enough. Pete's moving on to... Kavanagh, very nice. Come on. Kavanagh. 
Cavernous, cavernous, covering stuff and everything. Right, what do I do here? Boom, boom, boom. Run! There you go. Got me some lantern oil. Very nice. One, two, three. Run. 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 Okay, cool. One, two, three. Run. Do this while you're at it. There we go. Bit of stuff. A lovely thing here. I'm losing lantern oil. That's not good. Make a move, Pete, quickly before you run out of lantern oil and inevitably die. Go, Pete. Ah, all right. 86 gold I'll take. Take 86. <coughs> There's probably a way to make it out, but god damn if I know. Also, cheers for the three gold I'm about to get. God, Pete is just fight. Oh, 18 points of critical hit damage. Oh, no. 18 points. Jeez, Pete's pride is hurt after that. Three goals for Pete. He now his pride's even more hurt. So, cheers for that, arsehole. There you go. That's what he deserved. He deserved to get swapped. More money for Pete, though. That's another 50 to the bank. 405. We can get a really, really nice bit of armor next. Maybe a new weapon, who knows? Fossil Blast didn't get a single bit of money. Uh, I would laugh more, but formerly Pete has just been frozen in a block of ice again. Waste Sludge has lost all his money now, there you go. Fossil Blast didn't have any money to lose to begin with. And I apparently may have to battle someone at some point. Do I really want to battle anyone? The answer is no on an honest note. It's a no. That's better. 50 gold. That's much better. Alright. Well, Wave Sludge is uh, getting some money, I guess. Ooh, that's a lot of money from Fossil Blast. Fair enough. And I am about to get a second roll. Ooh, I play a minigame. Kavanagh again. Nice. I like Kavanagh. Kavanagh's a, a fun game. What can I say? It's like... I liked Bomberman when I was younger. Bomberman was great. Act Zero was rubbish, but, you know, eh, they can't all be good. But why that bad? Why have a grim dark of something like Bomberman? I mean, come on. That, 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 that's just rubbish, you know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Look at all of this light we have now. He has so much light. Even though he's pretty much the Grim Spectre of Death at this point. There we go. More stuff. Oh, light's closing. Uh, darkness is closing in again. Oh, no! Not the darkness. Not again! Come on, Pete. Just get some more lantern oil and you'll be fine. Get some more lantern oil. Come on, Pete. Hey, I found a way out! That's how you do it. All right. Okay, so now I know. I got 264 gold for that. Kavanaugh's now become like my new favorite game now, and I know that. Also, Wave Sludge has got some money in the pocket. Fossil Blast just lost some money. That's a bit of a shame for him. So did I. That's an even bigger shame because it's Pete, and no one really cares about Parcel Blast or Wave Sludge. But they care about Formerly Pete, apparently. That's why instead of making a new character for this Let's Play, I've just decided to go back with Pete. Because as much as we have old Reginald Higginbottom from Swords and Sandals and Lord Ugg from Swords and Sandals 2, for some reason they don't have the same appeal as formerly Pete does. I wonder why. It's definitely not because of a theme song. Definitely not. Let's battle Fossil Blast. Who is going to give me some of his gold? What a nice young lady. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, you scream to death. That, that, that's fine. I don't think I don't think Pete minds too much. There you go. 55. Nice. Okay. Ah, Wave Sludge is making a move. He's making a big move. But is it big enough to stop formerly Pete with a roll of a three? And uh, we'll fight another monster here. A Minotaur mage this time. Nice. With a dagger. Of course. A dagger is pretty standard at this point, I think. It really, isn't it? 
This is like, no, you couldn't get like a better weapon. No, just dagger. Also, would have liked that 407 gold game. You screwed me out of that. Wave sludges out for a turn. Ooh, fossil blast just got a sandal. Fair enough. A roll of a five means that I'm also stuck for a turn. Booger! Booger! I believe the turn is. <coughs> Ooh, and Fossil Blast is moving onwards. Let's battle again for money. You don't have too much money, but I can take like 33 gold, so... It's better than nothing. It all adds to formerly Pete's pizza fund, so why not? There you go. Take the devil's numbers and die. Nice. 33 more gold for Pete. He's delayed another turn. That's fine. A roll of a five for Wave Sludge. Only moved one. Fossil Blast only moved one anyway. A roll of a four for Pete here. For Arena Smackdown. Shoot the buggers. Shoot them. I'm getting my ass kicked already. This ain't good. Ah, Monster please! No! I got killed by Zamfar. That would never happen in real life. Zamfar would answer to me. Wave Sludge is getting a lot of money. I like the fact that Wave Sludge is getting a lot of money because I can then take that from him. Roll of a six. Let's battle Wave Sludge and win our tenth battle. Ah, oh, he wants to be delayed. Why? Why do you want to be delayed, Wave Sludge? Why don't you just let Pete smash you? Smack you in the face. You don't want that, apparently. Oh, that's a shame. But formerly Pete's tenth victory. There we go. In this. And Fossil Blast is moving backwards. And Pete wins. There we go. Nice. Indeed. Oh, the undead great beast. I expect a lot more from you, to be honest. First to reach the flag was formerly Pete. Indeed he was. The gladiator who finished the most gold was formerly Pete with 908. The gladiator won the most fights was formerly Pete with 10. The gladiator who won the most gold for minigames was formerly Pete with 379, which just proves... How much money I got, which didn't include mini games. Pete wins. Four to one. And grows to level 71. And more vitality is needed. Uh, didn't we already unlock him in the last episode? We've unlocked him again, apparently. Cool. Let's take on the fearful prisoner again. <laughs> Why not? Welcome to the Shackled God Realm. Fearful prisoner, you do not, you do not deserve to be here. At all, you don't deserve it. Not a single shred of it. Pete moves first and rolls a five, which means he's immediately lost all his money. That's fine. No, Pete! Pete's in fourth now. Well, I hope you get some company at some point. Well, Fifthful Prisoner's gonna go for a, a, a nice pint. Yay! Eritu. That guy, the noble guy. So two of us are just hit standing here losing money, and two of them are getting drunk. That makes sense. We probably paid for their pints knowing us. Oh, there you go. Karma and justice. Now we are in the top two. That's karma and justice right there. Let's do this. Sandal blocks. Cool. Skull. Uh, nothing here. Another skull. Relic. Sword. No fist. Grim Reaper. No. Little fat kid. Uh, no. Ooh, Rose, yes. Little fat kid. Little fat kid. Armor. Fist. Fist. Shield. Ah, 34 gold's good. I'll take it. I didn't really get the right ones there, but... Ah, well. To be honest, sandal blocks I don't see very often. For some odd reason. I just don't see it very often. Alright, Ulysses has... Well, he's losing money he doesn't even have. Ooh, nice! That's more money for Pete right there. Another 50 gold. All is well in the world at the moment. Pete is winning money. That's all that matters for him. He's going to swap with me. Of course he is. I don't really mind that too much. Because I wasn't going to... I probably wasn't going to battle with anyone anyway. Okay, so I can either lose money or lose money. Well, I'll take losing money. With a possible chance of getting treasure chests. And the easier... Well, not the easier. Not the quicker. But the... The possibly the, mo the more profitable route. Well, Ulysses is going backwards. Poor guy. That's more money for Pete. There you go. So at the moment, 40 quid up from that. 40 gold up, I guess. 
Fearful Prison is also going backwards, which just leaves me and, um... Ertio Lul. The n I'm just going to call him the Noble. Because I, I can't pronounce that for the life of me. So, we'll play a minigame here, which is Epic Battle. Well, it's got to be the Death Imperium, innit? It is Pete, after all. He will bet on the Death Imperium, who are losing badly. Very badly. Come on, nah. Well, that's just proof. Never bet against the Templar Church. Don't bet against the church, all right? It will screw you over at some point. You know. My religious views aside, though, we'll be moving on. Um, I don't want to turn this into a horrible video. There's, I already did that for the Bible game. I don't need to do it for anything else. A three. Ah, treasure. Well, there you go. Fortune favors the peat from the look of it. To be honest, it does sound like a good name. There you go. Good name for a part there. There you go. Fortune favors the peat. Why not? I'm just adding peat to stuff. And a possible sandal grabber. It's a fake one, but I still got the sandal. So... Even though it's a fake sandal, it is technically still a golden sandal, which I always found weird. But there you go, so I, I got a sandal. Fine, I guess. Ulysses has lost all his money. Pete's stuck for uh, three turns here, so... Ugh, I'm gonna have a nice yawn. Yay, because it's nearly half past 11. It's my last video of the recording session. I've done... What, this is my seventh, I think? Yeah, my seventh video of the recording session, so, well, of the day at least, which is good. I don't want to go overboard and do recordings to, like, try and finish this game. Let's play off or whatever. You're an ass. But try and finish this let's play off or whatever. Um, that'd be a bit silly for me. Uh, no, I'll decline. Oh, I lost the vitality again! Stop making me lose vitality, you git. Ugh. I don't want to open the box. It probably would have just been a sandal anyway. What's the point? I already have a sandal. I don't need two. Well, technically I would need two because I've got two feet, but, you know. Oh, well. Oh, not again. I don't like this anymore. No! Stop getting rid of my vitality! Stop it! Just stop. It's not fun. It's not clever. It's not fun. It's the most important thing here. It's not fun. Night Runners. Alright, this could be fun. Go! Go, Pete, on your lovely horse. Kick his ass. Speed! Come on, give me a sandal. Give me some power ups. Daggers. That is useful, but he is behind me, so it's not so useful. That's better. <laughs> I punched him with the hand of He Chaos and got some money back. That's good. What about my three vitality I lost, though? Hmm? <laughs> Where's that? Oh, nowhere. Well, there you go. Well, the noble's going the wrong way. Ulysses is in the lead here. I don't like the fact that Ulysses is in the lead. I also don't like the fact that Pete's losing bleeding money. Ah, Pete. Stop it. Stop losing money. It's not nice. Well, the noble's uh, losing money as well, but, you know, he, he's, a, he's an episodic villain. Ulysses getting money. Fair enough. A fire... Uh, yeah, well, I guess I have to battle someone. I'll take on Ulysses. He is ahead, after all, so I'll battle him. Well, he's going to be delayed. That's good, I guess. He's got a lot of armor and a lot of health. Decent magic, too. Actually, no, no, mediocre magic, if anything. And he's got a, 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 a flail and 44 magic damage. He's crap. <laughs> if you're going to be a magician, if you're going to be a mage, a sage, an art mage, whatever you want to be, an arc sage, do what you're supposed to do, you know, and just go full hog with it. You know, don't try and be these bleeding, you know, like, what's the one I'm looking for? You're like, oh, jack of all trades, you know, because then you'll be a master of none. And you don't want to be a master of nothing. That's, that's not a good tagline, really. Fearful Prisoner's losing a lot of money here because he keeps getting beaten in the face by people. A two from Pete. I'm going this way to get Skull Golf. Cool. Oh, no, that's going the wrong way. That's a shame. But two feet. That's 24 gold. That's good. 
Didn't get the angle right there, but nearly. I'm getting closer. So I've had now two feet. Two feet is the closest. We've had so far. That's pretty good. You'll go backwards again. You'll see he's delayed for another turn. Pete rolls another six. And gets more money. Yeah. More money for Pete. Purple Prisoner is now delayed for a turn. That's going to help Pete to no end. You're going backwards again. You're in second, though, which is interesting. You're not in second anymore. That's now Ulysses. Here comes Pete to lose money. That's never good, really. Oh, nice. No, it's never good. Don't really know who to battle here. Well, the fearful prisoner's dead, so there we go. He died a horrible death. They're battling now, and... Wow. Eritual the Noble is pretty powerful. But I will battle this guy because he gives me more money. Because if I fought the Noble guy, I would have only got like 30 gold from him. But fighting this guy, I get a definite 50. So, it's all about getting money here. I'm starting to think about things. So, 50 gold for Pete there. Right, a 1, 2, or a 3 would be nice next turn. Oh, that ended well for him. Oh, congratulations. Sod! Ah, 43 gold. I'd have been better off rolling a 1 or a 3. He's going backwards again! God damn it, man. Up, oh, there's money. That's some good money. Good money indeed. Man did well for him as well. Jeez, he's just getting stats up the wazoo at this point. Well, I'm delayed for a turn, but I'm fine. At the moment, I'm pretty far ahead of everyone. They're battling now. Man, he's just winning! All the time winning. Oh, okay. This could be where problems start. Oh, I thought for a minute there. I thought. Ulysses may actually win this. Let's see what we get. Epic battle. Well, I'm not going to bet against the Templar. I'm going to bet uh, on the Templar Church here. They won last time. Let's see if they can win this time against the Death Imperium. It's a good start so far. Yes! Never bet against the Templar Church. That's what I've learnt. Right, is Ulysses going to finish here? You are an ass. It's fine. That did nothing. That did nothing for you. It's fine. Ulysses was the first to reach the flag. Glad to finish the most gold was formerly Pete with 602 gold. Glad to win the most fights was the noble guy with four. Glad to won the most gold for minigames was formerly Pete with 212. And with that, a 3 1 1 victory for formerly Pete. Getting a bit closer, but there we go. Level 72. And a lot of money in the pocket. There we go, folks. He's here. Ultratus Omega, the final Rear Champion. Rear Champion 22 it has arrived. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to see if I can get some stuff. Um, so let's just unequip all this because I'm going to see what stuff we need. So I'm going to go to the shop. Back in a minute. All right, guys. So I have found the Impetus Night Boots, which for the shins, it gives us 98 to armor and plus four to intellect. They're pretty good. So what is our equivalent of for shins? It's the... Ch uh, the yeah, so it'd be the Chainmail Boots of Cunning. So, it does give us more armor. 24 more armor and 2 points of intellect. That'll do for the moment. Right, let's fully equip Pete again. With all of his armory pieces. The game would stop buggering up. That'd be great. Oh, come on. But yeah, so folks, we have... I think we got the Fallen Emperor Antares... And Ultratus Omega. I think those are the final two. They were in Swords and Sandals uh, 3. So I'm expecting them to be the same here. Um, this is going to be difficult, I'd say. But I am going to go for a break here. But in the next episode, let's play Swords and Sandals 4. We're getting close to the end, folks. Ultratus Omega. And the lovely Fallen Emperor Antares. You are next. You're next on the hit list. I'll see you then.